Speak up English, the key to success. Hey, Ella. You know, lately, I've been feeling like I need to think in English more often. Any tips? James, that's a fantastic idea. Thinking in English can really boost your language skills. Why not start by describing your day in English? That sounds challenging. What if I can't find the right words? Don't worry about perfection. It's about practicing, not being perfect. You can always fill in the gaps later. I guess I'll give it a shot. But how do you do it so effortlessly? Well, it wasn't always easy. I tried thinking about things I enjoy, like planning imaginary trips or even narrating my cooking process. Imaginary trips, huh? Where have you been lately? Oh, I've explored the English countryside, toured bustling markets in London, and even climbed the imaginary Alps. That sounds like an adventurous thinking spree. So, I've started describing my day in English, just like you suggested. That's awesome, James! How's it going? Well, I stumbled a bit at first, but now I find myself reaching for English words more naturally. That's the spirit. You know, you can also try thinking in English when you're doing familiar activities, like cooking or exercising. Right. I could narrate my workout routine in English. It might make those push-ups more bearable. Anything to make the workout more exciting. And hey, it's a great way to remember new vocabulary. True. Plus, it feels like I'm making my own English story. Exactly! It's like creating a personal language adventure. And the best part is, you're in control. James, thinking in English is a fantastic step. Now, let's take it a notch higher. Start turning those thoughts into spoken words. Speaking out loud? That's a bit intimidating. Trust me, it's the next natural step. Imagine explaining your day, your plans, or your thoughts as if you're talking to someone. It's like having a conversation with yourself. All right, I'll give it a shot. But what if someone hears me? Who cares? It's all part of the learning process. And besides, you're not alone. You've got me. True. Okay, let's do this. Today's weather, rainy with a chance of English monologue. Perfect. And you can even record yourself if you're feeling adventurous. Record myself? What for? 
It's an excellent way to track your progress. You can listen back and see how much you've improved. All right, I'm in. But I might need a rain check on those recordings. No worries. Just remember, every word spoken is a step closer to fluency. Ella, I've been thinking about what you said, turning thoughts into words. But how do I improve my listening skills? It's like people are speaking in fast forward sometimes. James, that's a common hurdle. Improving your listening skills is key. First, expose yourself to diverse English content, podcasts, movies, songs. Start slow and gradually move to more complex material. So, I should Netflix my way to fluency. Absolutely. But here's the trick, turn on English subtitles. It helps you connect spoken words with their written forms. That makes sense. What else? Engage with native speakers, whether online or in person. Conversations help you adapt to different accents and speeds. Any specific podcasts or shows you recommend? For sure! Try BBC Learning English or TED Talks. They're not only educational, but also entertaining. Awesome, I'll check those out. But what if I still struggle? Patience, my friend. It's a gradual process. Repeat, rewind, and replay until you catch every word. And remember, every challenge you face is a step closer to fluency. So, it's like leveling up in a language game? Exactly. And you're gaining experience points with every word you understand. Ella, I've been practicing listening, but how do I make English part of my daily life? Great question, James. Think of it like a language treasure hunt. Label things in your home in English, doors, fridge, books. It makes learning fun. I can imagine my fridge shouting, open me, in English. Exactly. Now, set your devices to English, phone, computer, everything. It surrounds you with the language. Smart move. But what about conversations? I'm still a bit nervous. No worries. Start small. Order your coffee in English, ask for directions, or strike up short chats with English speakers. Little by little, you'll build confidence. I like that. Small steps lead to big results. Absolutely. And here's a fun idea, maintain an English diary. Jot down thoughts, dreams, or even your shopping list in English. 
It reinforces what you've learned. A diary it is. But, Ella, what if I feel stuck? Break the routine. Change your language settings, explore new genres, or try tongue twisters. It keeps things exciting and challenges your skills. I never thought language learning could be an adventure. It is. Embrace the journey, James. And remember, you're not alone. The English-speaking world is cheering you on.